I wanted to hop on real quick to get some additional information about tomorrow's PLC Riddle because honestly, I'm not happy with my solution. So I want you to have everything you need to come up with the best possible solution. If you didn't catch this week's riddle, I said I need to copy sent data coming across a network into a string. Only when I look at my string in Studio 5000, it is blank. My value changes often, sometimes is short, and sometimes is long. Most of you have caught on that the LEN of the string is zero, and that's what's causing the issue. But first, yeah, a lot of you said you just need to enter the length into the LEN. No, the point of this is to figure out the LEN. If we right-click sent in string and we monitor it, we see we're getting data coming across it. And if we right-click my string data and monitor it, then we see that we are actually getting those raw values. But if we scroll up a little bit to my string, the value should be right here. Now, the issue is the LEN is zero. Now, a lot of you are right. We could simply count up these numbers, and that is 11. If I put 11 in the length, then it will display my value. But we need to programmatically figure this out because the numbers coming across are going to change. Now, the other thing I want to clarify is a lot of you said you wouldn't be able to determine the difference between blank spaces in the middle of the string and where the string ends. But here is the difference between a character that is empty and a space because the space has a special ASCII character. Now, one more thing I want to go over is how you can simulate this. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and delete this wrong right here. That gets us to pretty much a blank program. And then I'm going to go over here to edit tags, and I'm going to delete all my tags out. And now I'm going to bring a new rung down, and we're going to go to the file miscellaneous tab and bring down a COP instruction. And I am going to call this string in sent and then we're going to right click it in new and for its data type it needs to be s-i-n-t and actually i'll use the dialog box because if we click here our dim zero needs to be 82. and this pretty much gets you into an array of data that would be coming across some network then for my destination i'm going to use my string and we'll right click it new and we're going to call this one a string and then we're going to go into it and we're going to grab my string data zero so this will be us attempting to get string data of a length of 82 in and oops i forgot up here we need to go ahead and grab string zero. So that gets us to what the original PLC riddle looked like. And now I'm going to add another rung, and I'm just going to add mine above it. And we're going to bring another COP down. And my source on this one is going to be simulate string. And my destination is going to be string in sent and array element zero. And the length of it will also be 82. And we'll right click simulate string and we're going to make it a string and then we'll go in and grab simulate string data and zero and then I'll finalize that and just to clarify if you're not sure still what the issue is is let's go to view and watch and for the name of the first one I am going to put in simulate string. And then for the second one, I'm going to put in my string. And now on simulate string, let's click the dialog box and I'm going to enter TW controls. And notice while it says TW controls here, it doesn't say it in my string. But if we right click my string data monitor, then there is the TW controls. But because the length is zero, we're getting a different value. I'm really looking forward to some of your solutions because what I thought was the most obvious solution did not work, and I'm sure it should. So I think somebody is going to have a great one this week. And also, this is one to try in ladder logic, function block, and structured text. And tell me which one you think is easier.